Hello, I'm Stian Sonoweis from University of Manchester. Now I'm presenting the Common Workflow Language Viewer. Uh, I must say uh, I'm here the second person in the list. I have to honor Mark Robinson, who, uh, who did most of the work, uh, mainly as a student, and now continue working for us for a tiny bit. Uh, we identified CWL as wonderful and great and so on, but it's introducing a few challenges. We saw lots of people are sharing workflows on GitHub, which is brilliant, right? Because now it's open source, people can find it, but it doesn't really present very well because it's just a bunch of files. And often when you share them, lots of things, the authors might not have thought about describing things. What do these things really mean? Uh, where do these things come from? What version of tools are we using? And we need some incentives to get people to provide this metadata in there. We have all the hooks in CWL, but just having it there doesn't mean people are going to fill it in. So what we're looking at is making a visualization, going from the big YAML file that we've seen a couple of times, and get a, a, little, a simple picture that we see boxes and our each step shown separately, maybe the inputs and outputs, and some arrows between them. So that's what we set about to create. So we made the CWL viewer, which is a website where uh, you can paste in the URL for your GitHub repository, and you click a button, and then you get the visualization of that workflow, which you can then send to anyone in the world and share your workflow. Uh, you can have a look around. If it's a big workflow, you might want to use the zoom buttons here. You can do selection of things, and there's a nice little table in the bottom where you can see the inputs to the workflow. This is a good workflow. They have provided a description of all the inputs should be, uh, the different steps. There's a description of what that step actually does. Sadly, we don't have a description of what the outputs are in this case. But having the viewer will mean that people will get good incentives to provide information and hopefully share workflows in many more ways. Uh, you can download things from the viewer as well. If you want to just use the workflow in your presentation, click the download button and you get the SVG or the PNG to include. Uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about also the download of the research object, which is a zip file of the whole thing with metadata included. If you really like graphs, you can get the dot graph presentation and embed it in uh, other graph visualization tools. Now, uh, I'm come from the uh, University of Manchester where we have been working earlier with making research objects and now we see that common workflow language and research object are a, ma a match in heaven, right? So research object is bundling all the things around your data and your executions and things around with attributions, provenance, who is involved in making it. We want to include those other things out there in the world as well. And we see that for CWL, that is, is, is there's a big need for this. And we also see CWL as a perfect fit for us because it means we have the executable bit of the research object sorted. Now, uh, what we can do from the viewer is we, can, we have the luxury of GitHub who will tell us who is everyone who's been making things in the workflow so we can extract out for each of the different files, who are the authors, when was it made, and so on. And we have URLs to their usernames and so on. Now it's an incomplete picture, like, because we can only get that far from that information. We don't know who made the actual tools, we just know who made the tool description. But the hooks are there in CWL to add more information like that, and then we can extract it out. So, as I said, this is how we do it. We go through the git commit log, and we, we generate a statement. So that's quite easy to do. Uh, but now we need to add more information to that as well. Uh, we will just be discussing this in the rest of the FEDER sessions today, which you're welcome to come to. You can then also hear more about the work that we did at the CodeFest about uh, uh, getting the research of the CWL execution, which is a different story and probably much more interesting. Uh, and I welcome those interested to come to this during the lunch break. Now, once we have this viewer online, we started collecting all the different workflows people have told us about. And this is now a massive and beautiful collection 
of all the CWL workflows that people are building and making and developing across the world. And so whenever you register your public workflow with us, it's added to the list. And so you have instant exposure of your workflow. Now, if it's in the private repository, I'm afraid we can't help you at the moment, but we are working on support for that as well. So here are some of the things we are working on. We are adding a JSON API. So say you're only interested in getting the pictures, uh, you can access that with the JSON API. Uh, we're expanding the information we can show from the workflow, like showing the labels of inputs. Uh, we, are, we are changing to using the CWL tool as a reference implementation to do validation and get more of that RDF data out of the annotations. And we're adding support for getting workflows from not just GitHub. We know GitHub is cool, but there are other competitors of keeping stuff. And maybe even you just have a research subject, you want to upload it. And uh, CDRL SVG looks cool, and we, we have been looking at already how we can have that as a kind of alternative view inside the viewer. So I welcome all of you to come talk to us, join us, help develop the code. It's all on GitHub, of course. Uh, there's a poster that uh, I hope some of you will come, come see today at A124. So that's it for me.